So we've been doing lots of coverage of conservative media, but specifically Fox News' response to the raid on Donald Trump's Mar-a-Lago residence. It's been very fascinating because, as I've said multiple times um, throughout our full show, but the first time on this segment, we don't even know yet the specific details of the raid. We, we don't have any insight into what the purpose of this was, what, in, what they're investigating specifically, um, and their speculation. And obviously, Eric Trump, I think, started the narrative of this is related to the classified documents, which it very well could, but we don't know from the uh, FBI's mouth what this is all about yet. And so with that in mind, it's a little weird to be just absolutely exploding, saying this is not justified, saying this is the biggest witch hunt in American history, and blah, 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 because we don't even know. You might get a lot of details that should lead you to believe that it was absolutely justified and all of those things, but as we know, that's not really the goal a lot of times of networks such as Fox News has more to make, in this case, Donald Trump look as good as possible and, um, you know, reach out to their audience and their audience wants to hear that this is a witch hunt. They want to hear that Trump did nothing wrong. And that's what Fox News is giving them. But I came across a pretty good moment where someone on The Five, which is a show on Fox News, said something very reasonable, which is what I've been uh, screaming a lot recently, which is how about we just wait a little bit to figure out the details of the raid before everyone loses it. And Janine Pirro, who's also on this show, was not happy with that response. So we'll go ahead and take a look at this. Now, the speculation about what this is about, January 6th, Georgia, New York, some classified documents, I have no clue. I've read all the reporting. I saw some reporting last week that said that there was this this awful story, this 10-year-old little girl uh, that that was raped and and was an incest case. And you had attorney generals across the country, including in those two states, said, we don't know what this case is about. We think the Democrats have made it all up, only to have to come back and recant to find out when the facts came out. So I think we should wait for the facts to come out here. The president is presumed innocent Mm -hmm. until proven otherwise. Yes, so before uh, Janine Pirro jumps in, I just want to say that this is just deeply, deeply reasonable. I don't know, I don't know much about the guy who was just talking. Um, and he very well could be this uber, uber conservative. And if he is, fine, but he's being reasonable about this. And that's what I think we should do as a country. I think you can totally be, why, why, like, why would you have to be conservative? And that means that you also take a not logical stance on whether or not this raid was good or not. You know what I mean? Like, there's tons of conservatives that I know, and it looks like this guy could be another example of this, who would root on Trump in many cases, but if real criminality was shown to have happened, then they would want to know about that, and it would make them see him in a less favorable light. And so why not wait until all the details come out? Why not? And it's just very, very reasonable, the guy to say, and should be something nobody disagrees with, but and Thank I agree you. with that. But your speculation, I just think, is, is just I don't off, think off it's base. speculation at all. You do not. You do not break into a house of a guy that you've been working with for nine months that you have to admit has been cooperating with you for presidential records. No. Can I ask you a question? No. I'm <laughs> going to answer your question. Yes, ma'am. And <laughs> you do not do that and have guys with AR-15 and women, I might add, at the front of Mar-a-Lago at, at, in a situation like this where the man's about to announce for president if he's going to run for president. But if I were the lawyer, the first thing I'd say is, as a citizen of the United States, I want to know from the Department of Justice why you're doing this. I want to know from the FBI whether or not this is legitimate, because everything that you've done regarding Donald Trump has been illegal, illegitimate and immoral. And the country knows it. And you have destroyed our faith in the justice system. Just one question, Judge. Don't, and it's don't, not don't, Donald don't. Trump's fault. It's their fault. His lawyers have that search warrant. They could release and it. And the government can answer the question. All right. Release. A great point there. Trump's lawyers could release the uh, search warrant to give us some more insight into what it was all about. And they have not done that. Very, very interesting. Wow. Very, very upset there. But yeah, I think the guy on her left who is just kind of saying, listen, hold up. We got to learn about what this is all about first before we say it's completely horrible, illegitimate, immoral, illegal, (laughs) as she said. And that would be the reasonable way to response. But as I've, I've said before, um, 
Like these are 24 hour news stations and they got to pump out something the entire day. And so them being angry the entire time is a much better option than being reasonable, unfortunately, for the ratings. And that is unfortunate because I know there's a lot of people who are watching Fox News and long before any of the truth comes out about what the raid was about, what they found, what they uh, why they had good reason to get a warrant from a judge and go through all that process. Before any of the truth comes out about that, all the audience are, is already going to be revved completely up, ready to be angry. And they already are, are angry, believing this is the worst thing ever. And so there's very little information that they could now be told that would sway them away from that, which is sad. Um, but we understand that's, that's kind of the state of our, our media right now. And, Interesting moment, guys. Very interesting moment.